Hey guys, so this is my 16 week pregnancy update. Um, as, uh, well, I've not really had too many symptoms that have, um, well, this particular week. Um, I have noticed that my belly is growing, <clears throat> but I just still look like a fat person. I don't feel like I've got a bump. Because um, unfortunately, I'm one of these bigger ladies that has two bellies instead of one, so I just do not look pregnant at all. Um, but I have had to switch everything over to maternity clothes or like really baggy dresses or... I even wear like really baggy tops that are like men's tops, you know, depending on what mood I'm in. Um, but I have felt baby move more, like on a night I've felt more like twitchy feelings and like things like that. I have, um, you know, been feeling going on. Um, but I am having trouble sleeping because of the pain I'm in because of my hips and I don't sleep very well anyway. I, I didn't sleep a lot before and I used to have to take sleeping pills, but now obviously I can't take sleeping pills. Um, so I don't sleep much anyway. So when you can feel the pain because you can't sleep, and then you've got this little thing moving around, um, it makes it extremely hard to sleep. So if you could tell, I'm probably look really, really tired. Because I am. <laughs> so, um, yeah, tiredness. I'm getting a lot tired. Like, I'm drained a lot. Um, my hips have been hurting. And unfortunately, they've said that they can't do the treatment that they did the last pregnancy. I can't have acupun ac acupuncture because the woman who used to do it has been promoted. And they haven't replaced the woman who used to do it so they have a lot of people that do acupuncture but none that do acupuncture in pregnancy where i live which is a disappointment because that's what the only thing that i found worked in my last pregnancy and unfortunately my spd or my pelvic guild of pain has started a lot earlier in this pregnancy than it did my last so i'll have a lot longer to put up with it um this time uh, than I did the last one and doctors don't like giving medication to pregnant ladies as well so they can't really give me anything I can't take ibuprofen because obviously as a pregnant woman you can't take ibuprofen you can't take an anti-inflammatory so the only thing that's going to be my friend is heat so like heat packs and um you know, DP and baths when I can, you know, if I go over to my parents' house because, unfortunately, that's another thing. I live in a disabled bungalow because my husband's disabled and we don't have a bath. We have a wet room. And the shower just doesn't... Even though, obviously, I can put it on the hottest setting, it doesn't... I don't know, it doesn't soothe the muscles. I think there's just not enough... I don't know... But it do just doesn't work the same as a bath anyway in the shower. Um, so, the odd bath I can get at like, my parents' house, that may help a little bit, but who knows? Um, hopefully, we are trying to move, but it's just a case of obviously trying to find somewhere suitable for my husband and me and children, and that kind of meets all requirements which is quite hard very very difficult um so and i don't think i've got any other updates besides next week i'm super excited i'm going to find out the gender of my baby and it is the day before my birthday so that's a nice little birthday treat i get um, I've already told the husband as soon as I find out where it is I'm going crazy shopping I'm literally just going to go and spend every penny we have <laughs> just because I can if, especially like depending on well I'd have to anyway because we've got no boys clothes from my son left because when my son was born we lived in a three bed <clears throat> like detached house and then my husband had his operation 
and couldn't do stairs and bathtubs and yada yada yada. So we moved into a two bed disabled bungalow. So we had to get rid of a lot of things because we downsized. So all my son's baby clothes we got rid of. So now I literally have pretty much nothing for a baby. I haven't got a cot, I haven't uh, got like any baby clothes. I've got like the odd baby grow that I've bought in like previous videos that I've shown you, but I've not got any actual clothes. You know, I've just got the vets, a couple of vests and a couple of baby grows. Um, I've got no baby bath. I There's quite a lot of things that I don't have at the minute but obviously it's still only early days i am only 16 weeks at the moment um it still feels weird saying that i'm 16 weeks um because i still don't feel it sounds so weird to say i still don't feel pregnant in a way like i haven't you know there's no like proper kicking going on yet um i don't look pregnant you know if if people didn't know they'd just think i'd gain weight I just think that that's what it is. Um, I just, I don't know, I just don't... And like this pregnancy to my son's pregnancy has been completely different. Um, I, have, I have noticed this week I've started to feel quite dizzy and um, not with it. And I cannot remember things. Like, honestly, I cannot remember things to save my life. Like, my husband is saying that we've had conversations and we've had text messages saying certain things and arranging things, and I cannot remember. I literally... He, like, tonight, we're going to a friend's house, and he said to me, oh, is it all right if, you know, my friend Paige cooks me a certain thing? And I'm like, what are you on about? I'm like, we're going over to their house, they're cooking us tea. Have they? Like, yeah, we discussed this, like, a few days ago. Did we? Like, I, I literally cannot remember anything. Like, honestly, I have... My mind has just literally left my body. It's just gone. You know, I just cannot focus on anything. Uh, I don't know if it's like a sleep, baby brain. I'm not quite sure, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I'm really struggling with the whole old uh, noodle here. It just don't want to work for me. Um, but I, just don't, I don't think there is anything else I can think of um, that has changed much this week. No, I don't think there is. So I'm hoping next week I'll be able to take some videos of the gender scan and obviously do the update as that but my editing skills are to be desired so if i manage to do it then yay but if not <laughs> i'm really sorry guys but i'm gonna try my best um if anybody's got any tips on editing and stuff you know please comment below you know <coughs> i'd love to you know learn <laughs> um Oh, that's another thing <clears throat> before I go. I have taken the conscious decision. Um, basically, I was self-employed. I am a seamstress and I make all sorts of stuff. But I'm finding it extremely hard being in pain with my hips to sit on the floor cutting out patterns and then sitting at a, a sewing table and sewing for so many hours it is hurting my hips it is hurting my back so unfortunately i have had to close down my business now that sucks in more ways than one as i'm now unemployed i i've lost my like my help with childcare so now we have to pay the full whack out of our own money um and it's just made things a lot harder, which is poo. It is really, really, really hard. Um, so there will be no 
businessy updates, I suppose, with, you know, stuff I've made or it might be the odd thing if I've made stuff for baby when I find out what it is. Um, but I'm finding it extremely difficult. So I've had to quit my job, basically, which is a bit of a... But oh well. Life goes on and you make things work. I suppose you just got to cut back on certain things, haven't you, in life? God, my, that's the thing, like, I don't know if like anyone's noticed, but my hair is, like, hella growing stupid amounts. Like, I haven't had my hair this long, I don't think ever. I think even as a teenager, I kind of got it to maybe there, but it's growing like a mad thing. So, yeah. But I think that's it. I think that is everything. And I know there's a few um, ladies out there that are pregnant and they're due around the same dates as me. I know there's a lady that's due on the 5th. Um, and there is plus size pregnant. I can't remember what date you're due. Um, but I know you're around the same time. I think you're a few days after me, possibly. I think. I'm not too sure. Um, just remind me. Just come in. Just remind me. Because... Honestly, baby brain brain farts, it, they're literally like, meow, over my head. I don't know who I am lately. Um, it's just gone. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please, please, please subscribe. It really helps. And comment away down below. Um, and if there's anything you would like to see, like if you'd like... Um, like a Q&A with me and my husband or any hauls. I have done a wish order. <clears throat> so, obviously that won't come in for like a month or two. But I have done a wish order. So, when that all comes in, I will do a wish haul. And if, if there's anything else people want to see, please, please, please comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.